Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn an extremely important feature of Angular, which is HTTP client. Most applications that you will build in Angular will require you to make calls to an endpoint or an API and get data. Or in fact, as a matter of fact, you will have to do a multiple HTTP operations. We will learn all about that in this tutorial. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience and knowledge for all of you to share with. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, just ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So please support me by subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. Thank you in advance. This is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial playlist where we have close to 58 tutorials now. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out to learn and master Angular 9. So in the past few episodes, we are focusing on the series of Angular HTTP. In the previous episodes, we learned about observables, dependency injections, services, and in today's episode, we will focus on HTTP client. Let's get started. What you will learn in this at the end of this tutorial, you will learn what is HTTP client, what are the different various HTTP requests that we can do, what are the benefits of using HTTP client, and some of the CRUD operations in Angular apps. We'll also learn how to put together a simple server and don't worry too much about it now uh, since we'll be building a mean stack application based on node and express.js very soon. For now, we will use a server based out of JSON server. Let's get started with HTTP client. So what is HTTP client? HTTP client is used for performing HTTP requests and processing the responses. The HTTP client service is available in angular common http package the new http client service is included in the http client module which is used to initiate the http request and response in angular apps to work with http client we have to import http client module into our app module if you don't do this step it the http client will not work HTTP client also gives us other useful functionalities like headers and interceptors. We will learn that in the coming sections. So what are the different HTTP client methods that we can use, right? So some of the commonly used methods are your HTTP verbs like get, post, put, delete, head, JSONP, options, and patch. So these are some of the things that we will use uh, when we start writing our APIs. You will see that you will use them very frequently, especially get, post, put, and delete. So what are the benefits of using HTTP client? So some of the benefits of using HTTP clients are HTTP client includes observable APIs, which means whenever we make a HTTP request or get the response, the response is of type observable. We have learned what is observable, how to process data in the previous episodes. So if you have missed it, kindly do check out the tutorial on observable to learn it. HTTP client can have various uh, HTTP headers that you can send. HTTP client includes the highly testability features, which means it will give us a better control in writing our test specs. HTTP client includes typed request, which means we can create an interface and we can say that it has to strictly abide by that. The HTTP client includes response objects. HTTP client includes request and response inter interception as well. Finally, HTTP client includes error handling. So some of the commonly used use cases for HTTP client are the CRUD operations. 
Now CRUD is nothing but it stands for create, read, update and delete. Whenever we create a new resource or usually when we do a post call, it is to create a new resource and that's where we will use post method. Read is again just getting the data. So it's usually a get method call. Similarly, if we want to update a certain detail like update profile, update contact, update post, it will be a put call. Finally, when we want to delete, it will be a delete method. Technically speaking, we never delete anything unless um, if it's about data privacy or anything of those sorts, unless user explicitly tells us we don't delete. We usually use soft deletes, which is putting a flag to set delete or so. Now, we will learn about setting up a local server since we have to work with APIs. We have to learn we need a server basically, right? And you can create a server in different ways. You can create a mock API server uh, like using JSON server, which we will be using in today's episode. We can also use different uh, servers like uh, XAMPP or WAMP. These are used, these are free distributions which are allow, which allows us to quickly set up a server locally. We can also use Python based module called simple HTTP to set up and run a server. Finally, the best way to do with mean stack is using node and express.js. We will learn this in the in the in the mean stack tutorial that I'm starting early next week, where you will learn how to build APIs using node and express.js. For our friends who are coming from .NET background, they can also use the IIS to set up their server or open source folks can also use Apache. Again, there is no right or wrong way to set up a server. It, dep it depends upon your application requirement and infrastructure. That being said, let's do some notes and let's get our server up and running. So the first thing we'll do is open so that we can make some notes. So HTTP client, uh, we use HTTP client to make request and process response of HTTP calls. We make HTTP calls to server or in more generic word, we call it endpoints or APIs. That being said, uh, we need to we to work with HTTP client. We need to import HTTP client module in our app module. Without this step, without this step, our HTTP will not work. So it's very important. Uh, we will need to import HTTP client in our component if we want to make HTTP calls. As best practice, we usually make HTTP calls in our services. However, technically speaking, there is no restriction on where you can use, right? So these are some of the important notes. Now let's set up a mock server for our examples and application, right? Again, you can use, like I said, you can use any any um, ape, any server to set up those APIs. Uh, I will be covering. I'll be covering mean stack tutorials next week. Uh, we will build Node.js, Node and Express JS based API framework. Okay, so stay, stay tuned, stay tuned for this, all right? So just stay tuned for that. Uh, once you get it, um, we will process it. All right, so that being said, let's get started and create our mock server. 
so first we'll need to install it so what we will do is we will then do npm install right and we will say install globally npm install hyphen globally and we'll say json server so you need to install this package it's the quickest way to get it but like i said you can use any server of your choice npm install hyphen g json server so we can see that the json server is added the package is added and to work with json server to work with json server you will need a mock data data file right now if you see i've already created one under assets db.json let's close these right uh, let's see where our file is where we are making notes okay just give it a minute so these are all the other notes that we have i'll share it with you when we are ready uh, but look at this db file uh, it's nothing but it's just a json file with data that you want okay so this is the response output that you want so this is an api end call that you want to use so what i will do is i can then say um, let's go to this folder and cd source assets right and then we will say json server hyphen hyphen watch db dot json so it says that you see it says uh, the json db json which is the smock file data that it started and it's listening on localhost 3000 so let me show you that in action how it would look so what we'll do is we will localhost 3000 when you enter it you see that congrats you have successfully running a json server so we have our json server up and running and you can see there are three resources that is post comments and profile which you can relate in our db json post comments and profile right so if you want you can play with these we can do crud operations and and all of that adding reading editing all of that we can do it right here so you can see the urls are given here we can explore them so once you click on that if you click on the post you would see the same data output that you have in your db json that being said so these are we have our local api setup running and if you are on vamp or uh, xamp right uh, you can also configure that by writing a simple php script and exposing an endpoint all right so so far uh, we have got our server up and running we have got a mock apis that we can start hitting uh, we can do multiple operations like insert update read delete uh, all of the crud operations we can do with our mock server now give it a try uh, let me know if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them in the next tutorial we will start with http get calls uh, similarly coming forward going forward i'll cover get post delete put all of the http methods for you that is in the next tutorial thank you so much for joining in today's episode see you in the next episode